Our goal is to understand solutions to this differential equation. Those solutions will be of the form x as a function of time. To do that, we're going to look at dx dt at different points along the x-axis. First, let's identify regions where dx dt is going to be positive. That's places where the right-hand side is greater than zero. By plotting the right-hand side, it's pretty straightforward to identify when it's positive. In this range, in this range, in this range. Everywhere where it's positive, to indicate that x will be increasing with time, I draw an arrow in the direction of increasing x. We do something very similar to indicate the locations where dx dt is negative, places where solutions will be decreasing with time. I find the locations along the x-axis where the right-hand side is negative, and in those places, I add an arrow that points in the direction of decreasing x. Next, I mark the zero points. These are places where dx dt is zero. So if I start at that location, the value of x will not be changing in time. These are fixed points that result in equilibrium solutions. For fixed points, I add a circle marking each fixed point. If nearby solutions point towards the fixed point, I color in the circle to indicate that it's a stable fixed point. If nearby solutions point away from the fixed point, I leave it open to indicate that it's an unstable fixed point. Notice that at a stable fixed point, dx dt goes from positive to zero to negative as x increases. So dx dt will have a negative rate of change with respect to x passing through a stable fixed point. At an unstable fixed point, dx dt goes from negative to zero to positive. dx dt is increasing with respect to change in x at an unstable fixed point. This process enables me to create a phase line or a phase portrait. This is a series of arrows and open and closed circles along the x-axis that indicate the behavior of solutions. This is an unstable fixed point. Here, the value of x will increase with time. This is a stable fixed point. So if I start at this point, my solution would stay at this point for all time. In this range, the value of x is decreasing towards this stable fixed point. By interpreting the phase line, I can make approximate time series of the solutions. I'm going to draw in some approximate solutions to the differential equation. I'm going to make time series. To do this, I've turned my phase line sideways and drawn it parallel to a vertical x-axis. I've drawn the time axis along the horizontal because I want to sketch x as a function of time. I start by adding the equilibrium solutions, the fixed points, to my time series plot. Each fixed point corresponds to a location where if I start at the value of x, dx dt is zero, and I will stay at that value of x for all time. The stable ones I've drawn using solid lines, and the unstable ones I've drawn using dashed lines. Next, I want to add a non-equilibrium solution, just an approximation of that solution. And I'm going to start near a non-stable fixed point. I'm starting near this one, and I'm starting just below it, where dx dt is negative, but still small, still close to zero. And so x should be decreasing with time, but relatively slowly. As I move further away from the equilibrium solution, dx dt is getting larger until it passes kind of through its largest point, and then it's going to get smaller again. So my function is going to be shallow, then steeper, then shallow again. And it's not able to cross or touch uh, the next spot where dx dt equals zero. So it approaches this equilibrium solution, but it doesn't reach it. Once I've gotten the general shape of one equilibrium solution, I'm, I'll be able to draw in a number more. Here I've gone ahead and drawn in a number of different time series uh, to give us a sense of the different possible behaviors of solutions to this differential equation. So we can see that solutions to this differential equation, after some time, are attracted to one of a number of different stable solutions, and the stable solution that they approach is determined 
by their initial conditions.